Stop this evil before it's too late. Deep within the Big Sur National Forest, scientists today are transporting what many believe to be the skeleton of a long extinct dinosaur miraculously preserved in an amber monolith. With me is Dr. Herman Armstrong. Herc. Excuse me, Herc Armstrong, leader of the Earth Corps, a government-funded research team dedicated to investigating mysterious events under the Earth's surface. Would you comment on rumors that the monolith was emitting a strange sound and glowing when it was discovered by a pair of campers? And that the trees seemed to be <clears throat> speaking? I'm sure there's a rational explanation for... What's that? Oh, no! Look out! Barbara Walker signing off from Big Sur, where mysterious events are definitely taking place. Well, we're down one mile, Mr. Shore. Take the drill down two miles. Uh, but uh, there's nothing down that far. Yes, there is. Okay, you're the boss. Take her down! Two miles! Whatever you say! whose contributions to our beautiful city of San Francisco are too numerous to mention. Sandra Shore, benefactor of the Shore Museum. Thank you. Before unveiling this incredible find, let me introduce the brave members of the Earth Corps who will be studying this strange phenomenon. First, Herc Armstrong, leader of the Earth Corps. Next to him is Dr. Derek Bright, designer of the Earth Corps Advanced Technology. And next to Dr. Bright, Augur, distinguished archaeologist and the man responsible for constructing the Earth Corps specialized suits and vehicles. And finally, Jonathan M. Slattery, better known as Liquidator, master of chemistry, spelunking, and sundry arcane sciences. What do you think she's doing after the party? I find it very unlikely she'd be seen with you. Obviously, she's a woman of refinement. Now, without further ado, let us unveil the most significant archaeological discovery of the century. Suit up! Check it out. 
size of the tremors, that thing must weigh about 70 tons. I'll run the bio test. According to this, the monster's cold-blooded. Maybe cryogenic. That's like... A vine. I need a tissue sample. Leave that to me. Auger, don't you? Well, I'm gonna check out that thing in the amber block. What were you and the lady doing in there? Listen, Auger, you want a romantic advice? Buy a book. I don't believe it. They're gone. And after the Inferno, the monster simply vanished, leaving behind more questions than answers. Were they from outer space? Mutations caused by toxic waste? Or were they a mass illusion created by the stress of modern living? 
Right. Is this part of the weapon or just a doodle? Amazing. The tissue sample is growing at an incredible rate. Earth to Dr. Bright. Hmm? Oh, it's a... Um, it's a doodle, I think. File it. I'll file it. Hey, look at this, guys. <laughs> 12th century. Looks like our buddy from last night's been around uh -huh. for a while, huh? Is that so? Okay, just thought you might be interested. These things most likely come from the center of the Earth, General. But we have no evidence that they're extraterrestrials. We think it came from the center of the Earth. What do you mean, tell it to the Global Inquirer? Well, it looks like we're on our own, guys. Good, I hate red tape. So, where should we start looking for the creatures? The way I figure it, they must have escaped into the bay. Let's take the sub and start our search right here. Augur, the answer lies in the forest. Remember the vibes? Vibes? <laughs> Let's be a little more professional, Liquidator. Well, then let's hear your theory. All right. An oil worker reported seeing the tendril monster come out of the drilling shaft. That shaft will undoubtedly lead us to the bottom of this mystery. Well, I'm glad we're in agreement, as usual. Augur, I'll accompany you. Bright, check out the shaft. <sighs> nothing. Eh, nothing at all. with me. There's no reason we can't be friends. I mean you no harm. You shall never violate this forest again. Fifty feet. Walls are covered with strange markings. I'm going deeper. Below is... Uh, amazing. A chamber. It appears to be a cell. I suspect that the tendril monster was imprisoned here. Destruction. The creatures would have entered the water near the Golden Gate and... Headed just about anywhere. Yeah, that about sums it up. Look, an old B-29. Probably crashed during World War II. But the fuselage looks like somebody stepped on it. Look, a footprint. There's another. Let's hope we find the monsters before they find us. Look out! <laughs> Tuna fish. They aren't our problem today, Augur. I'm taking us up! <sighs> Sorry. I guess that old Rex sort of spooked me. No doubt about it. The monsters couldn't have found a better place to hide. Yes, they could. Hold on to your seat. We're going in. You sure this is a good idea? I'm getting a depth reading of two miles. We must be in a lava tube. A doorway to the center of the Earth. Full throttle! It's no use! It's got us! And it's crushing us like a tin can! It's got us! And it's crushing us like a tin can! Put on your helmet! I'm blowing the pressure bolts!
covered with strange markings. Mr. Shaw, they'll need a spatula for him. That's a terrible tragedy. Trigger the cave-in, then nobody can prove anything. Our work is done now. Let us depart. to acquire the plans for Earth Corps environmental suits. You never should have touched the amber. Hey, look, we didn't know what we were doing. Humans seldom do. We'll give it back. Really, we, we don't want it. One should not steal what one does not want. Look, look, you're right. I couldn't agree with you more. From now on, I won't take so much as a pine cone from this forest. You are a curious being. Oh. Ah! I should have gone for a joyride in the sub with Herc and Auger. Ah! Your aura is good. Your thoughts are pure. Let us show you the horror you have returned to the world. Long ago, a terrible war between the Mutors and the evil Inhumanoids raged far below. The Inhumanoid, Metlar, tyrant from the core. Decompose the undead horror. And Tendro, ravager of the Earth's mantle, set out to crush the Mutors. We, the mighty Redwoods, along with the peaceful Granites, and our magnetic ally, MagnaCore, fought an impossible war against impossible odds. Though our losses were great, we defeated them and drove them into submission. The monster Tendril was sealed into a stone chamber where he stayed until humans released him. Decompose was paralyzed by the sunlight and toppled into an amber pit. And the tyrant Metlar was trapped in MagnaCore's magnetic field. He is still confined, but I fear the others will release him. If that should happen, the world will never know peace. Don't worry. I... I promise you, we will stop them. You talking to me? Huh? No, I, I was talking to, uh... You ought to get out of the sun, pal. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Thanks. I tell you, there's one born every minute. And I am telling you, the trees were talking. You know, Liquidator's story jibes very well with my own. When I was investigating the drilling shaft, I discovered a deep chamber which might well be this tendril's prison. Then we must stop the Inhumanoids before they can release Metlar. Otherwise... Hit the deck! Right! Auger! Liquidator! He's still alive! Ah. That creature's gone too far this time. 
This was my favorite shirt. I hope this works. We've driven it back down. <laughs> the humor of the situation escapes me. So did the monster. Not for long. Earthcore, suit up. We've got to stop them before they get to Metlar. I want the Earthcore's budget cut. Not trimmed. Eliminated, Senator. If you can't do it, I'll find someone who can before the next election. Do you understand? Blackthorn, why do you want to eliminate the Earth Core? Look, we agreed you'd handle the glamour and I'd handle the business. Did we not, sister? Hmm, what are these? This is our drilling shaft. You deliberately released the monster, didn't you? It would be in your best interest to forget you ever saw these. You're insane. One man's insanity is another man's genius. Their master, Metlar, will soon be my slave. Not only have I unearthed the Inhumanoids, but I can control them. It's a disgrace to be your sister, Blackthorn. Intercept Sandra and bring her to me. suits are hardly damaged. My design was flawless. Your design, but my construction. We've got a mission ahead of us, and it's a real winner. 1,500 miles below ground is a guy, a thing, called Metlar. He's straight out of a nightmare. If his friends release him, we're ended. I suggest we head downward. What a brilliant idea. Your name isn't bright for nothing. Often it takes great intelligence to see the obvious. Great shot, Liquidator! You hit a sword! Look out! Whoa! Resort down here, you, you could make a million. Look, track. Fun and games are over, men. fortunate that I brought my flares. Yeah, if you hadn't, you'd have been totally useless. Start 
digging. These boulders seem to be fighting me. You ought to go to the gym more often. Buzz off. How many kinds of monsters are there down here? Don't shoot. They're granites. Mutors. They're the good guys. We're out of ammunition. There's nothing we can do. Let's get out of here. Up there! Well, this is as good a place for a last stand as any. Tree roots. The surface is just a few feet away. So near, and yet so far. If he tries to get up here, we'll nail him. If only he were that stupid. I think we've dangerously underestimated his intelligence. Take cover! here, but I, I can't move. My suit is smashed. Son, you join the regions of the Undead. Is it my imagination, or are the roots moving? You have no imagination, Augur. They must be moving. people did not fight alone in the last great war. We need your help. Your machines unleash the Furies. Now your machines must drive them back. I've never been good with fancy speeches, Commander, so I'll put it to you straight. We're fighting for the survival of Earth. We need more money for digging machines, weapons, and armor. Forget it, Armstrong. Your budget is cut. Earth core is history. What? Wasn't I speaking clearly enough? You've been a boondoggle since day one. You're finished. Senator Masterson came down on us like a ton of bricks. Masterson. Senator Masterson, I heard Armstrong is calling. He says it's important. Tell him I'm out of the country. Very good, Senator. Now, give me the plans for all the Earth Corps environmental suits and weapons. Uh, very well, Blackthorn. I guess it doesn't make any difference now. You've been slamming the phone down a lot lately. I'd rather be slamming a few heads together. Our funds have been cut. We're out of business. Well, gentlemen, I'll be seeing you. Where are you going? The unemployment office. Anyone care to join me? Look, Derek, we've still got a job to do. Money isn't everything. Now what do you say we get back to work? Nice place you got here. Your next crack will cost you. That'll be $75. Anybody got any money? I got 20. 35. Gentlemen, save your money. Sandra Shore? Keep the change. Oh, thanks. Thank you, Miss Shore. But why are you doing this? I'm willing to fund your expedition into the Earth. Well, hey, fantastic. Great. But there is a catch. I'm coming with you. Oh, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. It won't be... Those are my terms. All right, we accept your terms. This is the Terra Scout. Assuming that Augur knows how to read, it'll be ready when we are. It will hold two scientists. Uh. 
Barker will operate the control panel and front gun, which pivots side to side to ward off the humanoid attack. This is the trapeur. Herc will ride in front, operating the claw. The hook can be used for lifting, dragging, tying, or scaling. The trapeur is equipped with a hover platform, which Sandra Shaw will operate. Discontinuity is a natural barrier that divides the mantle from the Earth's crust. There's the thing we're talking about. It must have been a fortress of some kind. Construction is similar to the underground cell which held the tendril creature. Battle positions! beyond repair you'll have to return to the surface rubbish but your respirator unit is ruined well if i'd used your design it would have been but fortunately i threw out your design and built this myself
is true! I don't believe it. Earth's mantle. Did you look at that? Diamonds. Just one of those and I'll be wealthy for life. Let's go for it. Seen formations like those before. Look out! Those are good part. Acid fools! Right over! Stop! Liquidator! Snap it up! Neutralize the acid with a base! This is the best I can do on short notice! I'm glad you two are all right, but next time, you'll be sent to the surface. Is that clear? Kirk, I'm picking up something. What? I don't know, but it sure got a catchy beat. It's a battle. We're too late. Nonsense. If it were over, we wouldn't hear it. The sounds are coming from behind that wall. That wall's pure crystal. The battering ram won't even scratch it. I call this instant doorway. <laughs>
His eyes! They're hypnotic. Look away! Watch out! are tough. Of course, I designed them. Obviously, you're okay. Sandra? Yeah. Let's see that giving you a hot foot. Let's beat fate! Earth core, this way! Get me off my back! <laughs> <laughs> Look out! Where'd the rock creatures go? They must be regrouping. I'll track them. That must be some sort of secret chamber. I sense them. We could use a secret chamber about now. Destroy! Anywhere's better than here. on your lights. All right, guys, you can stand up. It's just us. Uh, who are you creatures? We want to help. We're your friends. One can never be too careful in this strange age. Especially when another creature such as yourself seeks an alliance with Metlar. What are you talking about? See for yourself! From now on, I am your master! Come no closer, inhumanoids, or I'll destroy your leader! Look, he's captured Metlar. Who is he? I have a terrible feeling it's my brother, Blackthorn. Until now, you were only a creature of legend! A story told to children, Metla! Soon the humans will see the horrible truth behind the legend! Soon they shall bow to me! No one could bow low enough to be on your level, Blackthorn! I told you to stay out of my business! Uh, uh, listen, uh, look, I don't like to interfere in family quarrels. Stay right where you are. 
Are you fool enough to believe you can control the Inhumanoids platform? Decompose! Stifle! I guess that's our cue. Shot, and it's a long one. Grab on, we're going for a ride. Huh? No two ways about it. She's irritated with us. Probably the first guys who've ever run away from her. Uh, if she doesn't do something about her looks, he won't be the last. Car! Save me! Give us one good reason why we should. I possess the secrets of the Inhumanoids! Keep them! Without my knowledge, they'll crush human civilization! Well, what do you think? Is he worth a grenade? Ah, uh, what the heck. Four! That's gratitude for you. So, the flesh slugs fight among themselves. I must remember that. This is no time to take a nap, General. Ah, the Inhumanoids have left our kingdom. I don't know, I don't know, but I say we anger them no longer. Uh, what do you say, folks? That's the whippiest thing I've ever heard! Down, Augur. The granites are only... Yes, but in the long run... Look, the Inhumanoids are gonna come back and kick their boys. to agree with the flesh slug. Humans! We're called humans! Now, I stand corrected. And nevertheless, the humans are right. I move that we forge a real peace and stand against the Inhumanoids now! <laughs> All opposed? Make buildings, not war! The majority clearly favors action, which is your department, General Granitary. I will begin making logistical and military plans as soon as the Senate determines our military objectives. I'll give you your military objectives. You find this Metlock character and... It will not be so simple. He cannot be destroyed. Only neutralized by MagnaCore's magnetic field. And MagnaCore has been captured. 
I don't know. Tell me if I'm out of line, but I think we must negotiate with Metlar for his release. Negotiate? This is how you negotiate! Enough, Augur, enough! Granik, one of our party has been decomposed. Is there any way to reverse the process? Yes, but it will not be easy. The creature must be exposed to Whiteburn. Whiteburn? Yes, the force that turns water into air, black into white, cold into warm. Must be their name for sunlight. Barring any objections from the worthy granites, I have a plan. After we repair our vehicles, we'll split into teams. I'll take the Trepur and an assault force of granites to decompose his lair, Skellweb. Right? I want you to head to the surface and mobilize the Redwoods. I have a gut feeling the Inhumanoids aren't through up there. Now, over there is what is known as the high water mark of the Confederacy. Hoping to break the Union lines, Lee ordered Pickett's charge right on this very battlefield. The Yanks stopped him, and the war was pretty much over, save for the shouting. Ah. Is that part of the show? Oh, oh that's, that's amazing! amazing. <laughs> Put the pedal to the metal and don't stop till we're in the next county! <laughs> You know, when you think about it, nearly every ancient culture had some kind of vision about the underworld. Maybe it's part of the collective unconscious. Sure makes you wonder, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. I wonder about that all the time. Bingo! In mythology, there was always something guarding the underworld. The Russians thought it was a monster named Surma. The Greeks had a dog named Cerberus. And you have me, Metlar! Let this mark the end of your world and the beginning of mine! I wouldn't have to do this. Just tell me when to stop cutting down trees. Stop! I thought that would bring you around. The childishness of your species is exceeded only by your lack of patience. If humans lived 2,000 years, maybe we wouldn't be in a hurry either. He has a point. Quiet, Ransom. What do you want of us? We know that Metlar is going to be coming to the surface for energy. Only your people can stop him. Now here's my plan. We're either getting very close to Skill Whip, or this is the largest mausoleum in the world. 
It is a peculiar trait of flesh slurp. <clears throat> Excuse me. Humans to find humor in danger. <sighs> this is getting big boring. Redson, there's a car coming. so jumpy about, kid. Did, did, did you see it? See what? Yeah, I've just been in the woods too long. <laughs> Way to go! I knew he was planted too close to a football stadium. Decompose must have pulled this entire town down from the surface of the earth. <laughs> I dislike the human's choice of building materials. I'll make a note of it. Grab 
flimsy construction. <laughs> to us, everything is flimsy construction. I guess you've got a point. <laughs> Good fighting, flesh slug. Uh, human. Just call me Herc. Well, I'd say we powdered him good. Come on, we're almost there. Don't stop now, Huck. Oh, we'll miss our assignation with eternity. What do you mean, Tendril? You failed to obtain the Flesh Sun's primal energy! Without that energy, my statue warriors will not be at full strength! Decompose, where are you? <coughs> what is your wish? I wish nothing! I demand that you succeed where our Tao witted friend failed! <sighs> Go to the surface, and do not return without the energy I require! I will not fail. Failure is not a word I understand! It would be foolish for the Inhumanoids to attack again. But according to the human, Dr. Bright, Metlar will stop at nothing to obtain the power he needs. Help the bone jobs after us! Emergency! Emergency! Right here, Redson. Describe the emergency. Come in, come in! What's happening? Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's get out of this coffin. Oh, we're here. The elemental core of the Earth. You have seen one elemental core, you've seen them all. Help me! Who was that? Activate your optical filters. It's MagnaCore! Release me! Let's get to it. This is what we came here for. Extinction, flesh slugs. The our will to survive is most unique among lower animals. You're right. We would make most fascinating subjects for study. <laughs> Perhaps were it another time. Fear not, your end shall be painless. <laughs> Well, I knew you'd change your mind. Yeah. He didn't change his mind, Augur. He just stopped. How ironic it is that a mere magnet, most often used to hold notes on refrigerators, paralyzes the most powerful monster on the planet. Blackthorn Shore. Well, sure. You're at the center of the Earth. How can you slink any lower? One should be more polite when addressing those who hold their lives in their hands. Skellweb was built long ago by flesh slugs, humans, who fell under the cruel lash of Decompose. Keep your eyes peeled. Decompose could strike at us from anywhere. No! No! 
bad dream. It... It wasn't a dream, was it? No. But it's over now, Sandra. Let's go. Herc, there are some things I have to tell you. Are you sure they're the same statues? Well, to tell you the truth, they do seem somehow changed. Almost as if they is about to... Charge! There's too many of them! There's no way out! They do seem somehow changed, almost as if they was about to charge! There's too many of them! Do something! Darn Yankees! What do you mean, darn Yankees? Trust them rebels to mess up a good alliance! Charge! Charge! If we just stay out of the middle, we'll be fine! No two ways about it! After this, I'm gonna need a long vacation! Does it make you want easy to know that all I have to do is turn off my magnet and he would throw you into the earth's core? Imagine what he'd do to you if he got the chance. I, uh, there might be an opportunity here. Took you long enough to figure that out. He'll never get the chance! I've studied the inhuman eyes! I know their weaknesses! Observe! A slight shift in the magnetic field and... I move him like a puppet! What do you have to do to make him stop you? Fire. With those polarities on the next surge. Yes, and magnetize your mouth shut so that I can concentrate. Now, all you have to do, Earth Core, is pledge allegiance to me! Well, you gotta hand it to him. This guy's funny. Now, tell me how it feels to have your suit squeezed like toothpaste tubes. <laughs> You're insane, Blackthorn! Oh, my rivets are snapping. Now, reverse polarity. Reverse again. Reverse, 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 reverse! Repel! Choose your death, flesh slug. <laughs> The chains! Switch polarities! <laughs> All my opponents should be so stupid. Quiet flesh creatures! Divide and repel! Join forces! It's a lava tunnel! How far does it go? Very near to the roof of the world! This is what I call door-to-door -door service! What you find in the muck nowadays. Medlar! You were a fool to save me! Because you will never again be free of my grasp! <laughs> it appears that you have come upon some difficulties, fresh slug. Suppose you were to wriggle free, where would you go? Return to the other flesh slugs who despise you? No, human. Your future is with us. This is 
the human's energy source. Good. Friends, meet our newest ally. He is going to tell us where the flesh slugs keep the ultimate primal energy. Of course, Master. I don't think it'll keep the rain out, but it's good for a start. Why would one want to keep rain out? Obvious, Redlin. So they do not corrode. Any sign of auger and liquidator yet? No, not. Magnacore! Mark! Sandra! Great to see you! But your timing could have been better. We have reported this slight tremor, comrades. Please investigate. We felt a slight tremor here, comrade. <laughs> it was probably just me shivering. We have observed an underwater object. Shall we identify or launch depth charge? Launch the depth charge, of course! Reported this slight tremor, comrades. Please investigate. We felt a slight tremor here, comrade. <laughs> it was probably just me shivering. We have observed an underwater object. Shall we identify or launch depth charge? Launch the depth charge, of course! Stronger 
We must resist fighting out of emotion. Bright if you're chickening. Hark Armstrong! It's Senator Masterson! We have a problem! So do we! Not the least of which is that you cut our budget! Don't we have anything to shoot him down with? Every time I hear his name, it's bad news. My brother Blackthorn's with him! It can't be! General Craig, I would like you to meet Earthcore. How, How do you do? Last time I saw you, you were feeding me to the monsters. I'm sorry, Sandra. That was not my intention. How'd you get away? Yeah. Last time we saw you, you were playing patty cake with Metlar. Metlar thought I could be of no further use to him, so he attempted to discard me. Too bad he failed. Gentlemen, allow me to get directly to the point. We need your help. This Metlar's armies have attacked a Soviet weapons depot and stolen enough firepower to seriously damage this planet. I find that highly unlikely. If your brain were as quick as your mouth, you'd understand the implications of the two missing cluster missiles. One will shatter the mojo wall, and the other will ignite the primal core and thus convert the Earth into a molten slag heap. Funny, that's what I was going to do to your face. Hold it, Augur. He might need his teeth for a few more minutes. We're nearing the Mojo Wall, and I'm still not picking up the missile signals I'd expect. We all need this Black Thorn's word for where the cluster missiles are, and I do not trust him. No need for the handcuffs in here. We should be able to follow Earthcore's progress. Either we reach the wall or before they... They're almost out of range already. What time is it, General? In 30 seconds, it'll be 1,500 hours. What difference does it make? All the difference in the world, General. What? What's happening? It's an earthquake! <laughs> no, Senator. It's a series of explosions designed to crack the Earth's crust. Cluster missile will detonate the Mojo Wall, but not quite where I told Earthcore it would be. Then Earthcore is heading into a trap. But of course, General. You see, I haven't been completely honest with you, gentlemen. I made a bargain with Metlar. We agreed that I would rule the few islands that would remain after the blast. If I would eliminate the one thing that stood in his way, Earthcore. Lions here are terrible. My feelings precisely. At least we made it here before the missiles went off. Now all we have to do is defuse. It's a fake. What? An explosion near the surface of the world. I can feel it in my crystals. Black boy must have set us up. At 
least we made it here before the missiles went off. Now all we have to do is... It's a fake. What? An explosion near the surface of the world. I can feel it in my crystals. Blackthorn must have set us up. The real missiles are supposed to destroy us all. trip, you goofball! We were almost killed up there! Augur's right. We gotta get to the core before the last missile takes us out. It is my belief that Earth's core is destroyed, along with all hope the flesh slugs might have had. Now, all that remains true is to detonate the primal core. First, troops! You must march to safety while decompose and ten will guard the passage to inferno. To suffer my inclusion, but how are we to survive? Do you question my authority? Take your positions! Finish them once and for all! I grow weary of this game! much farther to the core. Not much. Another couple of hours. Wait a second. I'm getting something. Me too. But I shouldn't be. Not here. I'm getting very bad vibes. It's a missile. Lots of missiles. Where? Bogey at 10 o'clock! Looks like we made it. Never hatch your chickens before they're counted. I'm getting an unpleasant reading from below. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, like to be in the dryer! Let's get down there! Hurt! Auger! Right! Are you guys all right? My travel agent's gonna hear about this! Herc! Hold on, buddy! I'll find you! It's a dirty job, but someone's gotta do it. What the ride lacked in comfort. It made up for in speed. Well, we're all still alive, and that counts for something. All right, let's head them up and move them out. Uh, 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 Magnacore, power on! Now that's what I call teamwork. I find that dam most curious. I wonder what it's for. Probably to hold back liquid. That's what most dams are for. Brilliant, Augur. Simply brilliant. Augur, look! There's the cavern we took to Infernac. Then we're right on target. Let's just hope we're on time. <laughs> Hydrofluoric acid! 
Liquidator. Will our suits protect us from hydrofluoric acid? Not a chance. Nothing can protect us. Earth Corps, there's a bridge ahead. Wait for it. Oh, and I thought we were just poking along. One minute and counting. Quill trespasses upon us. Good work, decompose. I never thought I'd hear myself saying that. Strike quickly, flesh nuts! Ten, nine, eight. Earth core, crash them! Six. One down. Five. Two down. Four. Three. That's three. Make that four. Two. Five. One. Lift off. They fired after all we've been through. We missed by seconds, so this is the end. It's gonna blow! No, it's not. Five missiles weren't enough. Of course. He needed all ten. All he succeeded in doing is dissipating the core's energy. It's turning cold. You shall not live to celebrate your victory! Statue warriors, destroy! can sap some primal energy. Liquidator, you did it. It wasn't me. They were low on primal energy to begin with. Now let's get out of here before Metlar notices we're still alive. You betrayed me! A simple desire to save our own skins! Do you fear death more than you fear me? Bring me the flesh slugs metal skins! Hurt to Mutors, we're on our way! We know what to do! Energies are aligned. They 
trapped him in amber. Just like we originally found him. Cursed amber! <laughs> Back where he belongs. Oh, great core! Re-regeneration! Now, Pyre! shall never again menace this world! I would not count your victory so quickly, Magna Corps! No! That black suited flesh creature! Tut, tut! That is no way to treat one who can neutralize your magnetic powers. Not only can I maintain a hold on Metlar, I can also neutralize you! You see, with my new suit come new powers, but the same old act. We're ringing the curtain down on you for good. Well, gentlemen, and uh, Sandra, I must offer you both my congratulations and apologies. I was bullied by Blackthorn, and you saved the day. I hope this new headquarters will mend things between us. Funny how he gives away the taxpayer's money as if it were his own. We don't know how to thank you, Senator. Gentlemen, I have always believed that statesmanship would triumph over petty political squabbles and have dedicated my life to spreading that philosophy. No two ways about it. I've got to mess this place up before I can get back to work. So, Sandra, what did you say you were doing for dinner? <laughs> You're the fourth guy who's asked me that in the last ten minutes. Now, where did that tendril sample go? Who knows? Things got messed around during construction. Oh, well, I'm sure it'll turn up sooner or later. Good afternoon. I'm Hector Ramirez, and this is 20 Questions, the news magazine that's not afraid to ask the important questions, such as, who were the Inhumanoids really? And what did they want? The Inhumanoids are gone. Yes, the monsters who first struck in San Francisco, then again at a power plant in Southern California, and later at such diverse targets as the Gettysburg Battlefield and the Soviet arsenal in Kamchatka. In fact, I believe... Yes, we are going to switch you now to Soviet television for a first-hand report. Last month, Red Army forces led by Comrade Anatoly Kiev gloriously defeated several monsters. Are we on? Oh, uh, there you have it, live from the Soviet Union. I am now standing in front of the Earth Corps headquarters where the brave team of scientists who defeated the Inhumanoids prepared to hold a press conference. Uh, gentlemen and ladies of the press, uh, may I have your attention, please? As most of you know, I'm Herc Armstrong, and to my right is Sandra Shore, representing Shore Industries and the Shore Foundation. And next to her is Derek Bright and Mr. Jonathan Slattery, better known as Liquidator and Auger. I hate reporters. Together, we form the team known as the Earth Corps. Can you tell us exactly what happened to the Inhumanoids, Mr. Armstrong? Metlar, the leader of the Inhumanoids, was trapped by the powerful magnetic fields of a mutor ally known as Magna Corps. Decompose was tricked into an amber vat by Earth Corps with the help of the red... Don't tell them about the trees! Uh, certain surface creatures of an undetermined nature. Would you care to describe these creatures? What are you trying to hide? It's apparent to this reporter that the story of the Inhumanoids is far from over. But this much is known. The tendril creature, which was originally released by Sandra Shore's evil brother, Blackthorn, is at the moment safely imprisoned beneath the Earth. Meanwhile, Blackthorn Shore himself currently serves a five-year sentence in the Glades, a maximum security prison.
It is interesting to note that Blackthorn shares his cell with the infamous Dr. Herman Mangler, the geneticist who was convicted of manufacturing nightmare creatures in his private lab. Yes, the inhumanoids are gone, but a small piece of the tendril monster removed during the Earth Corps' first encounter with the inhumanoids is missing. Is it important? Who knows? We leave that for history to decide. This is Hector Ramirez signing off. Roger, aren't you ever going to grow up? That's the third television this year. Yeah, and if I see Hector Ramirez again, it won't be the last. I wonder. Wonder what? Is it possible that the tentacle still lives? in a few minutes. Hey, I'm out of here. Police, you better get down to the dump. The tendril monster is back. Dispatch all cars to the city dump. Emergency. monster is back. One out of 11 report to dump. They'll be eaten alive. We can't let them tackle that thing alone. This glue might stick him for a while. Did you say might? Let's go. As chairman of the Wildlife Committee, I intend to put him in the zoo. The zoo? Do you have any idea what that thing could do to a zoo? Senator Masterson, do you have a comment today? Yes, gentlemen. I respect the rights of all creatures. Too bad the inhumanoids don't. Or I would have ended him long ago. Cypher is the most advanced language computer ever created. How come it can't communicate with the monster? It's the creature that can't communicate. I know for a fact that creature can communicate. <laughs> Awaken. The human is sleeping. When we escape. As soon as I interface with the zoo security computer. Never mind. Just wait and remember our deal. I give you your freedom and you do exactly as I tell you. That does it. I'm free. I'm free. Careful. Remember, I am fragile. And now the news. This just in. 
the tendril monster has escaped. For an eyewitness report, we go to our man on the scene. Well, Dick, police officials are stymied. As best we can ascertain the... Great, just great! Tendril could have gone anywhere. My feeling is he headed where he'll feel safe, right back down into the Earth. One thing disturbs me. Why did Tendril take Cypher along? Who cares? Let's get down there and defoliate the... No! Going down there without preparation would be suicide. We need information. Right's right. We don't dare fight Tendril on his own terms. Hey, does anyone smell... Smoke! Look out! was dangerous when I took it, but this is a bit much. I don't know my headache much oh, good either. Helps to clear your sinuses, though. Derek, you all right? I can't get a pulse. Darn it, got one. I'll take him to the hospital, and the rest of us will head into the ground to find Tendra. Come on! My sensors detect only two night watchmen, and they are asleep. You must hurry, Tendril. Earthcore will soon be hunting us, and I intend to be prepared. I will need many things. The microwave transmitting kit, the ultracharged battery pack, the atmospheric detection probe. You have done well, Tendril. We now have all the components I need except one. And if my calculations are right, which they always are, the final component should be on its way down to us just about now. <laughs> Tendril, sorry. <laughs> Why me? I'm getting to think we may never find him. Probably find us. Hey! Look at that! Don't squeeze! You overgrown rumor! He's getting away! I wonder what he wants with the Terra Scout. Well, maybe he's tired of walking. the implications of our situation are not lost on you. It's clear that Tendril has forged a dangerous alliance with the Cypher. The most primitive and humanoid. In league with the most advanced human technology. Yeah, but now for the good news. This thing is tuned to a homing signal on the Terra Scout. Then let's follow it. I am complete. You are brilliant, Tendril. I will give you an important task while I am gone. You see this box? It is very powerful, because Earthcore will follow it wherever it leads. Now, here's what I want you to do. my patience with stupid formalities. Open the gate. Hostile alien at our gate! I grow weary of this. the others think, but I'm persuaded. I am happy to see that reason has prevailed. Order Pyre and Crygen to release Metlar into the computer's custody, now! <sighs> I am glad to see you are as intelligent as I was led to believe. I wouldn't release him if every surface creature on Earth were! Your sentiment is appreciated, Pyre, but your 
mode of expression is unlikely to persuade. It was my desire not to use violence, but... My bonds are broken! Expect to live up to the agreement we forged. To whom do I owe my freedom? I have bought your freedom on the condition that you will not damage the Granite City. <clears throat> I suggest that we not hesitate in our leave taking. Tempers grow mean. Hey, I got an idea. Let's tell Bright we found a hole in gold, but since he wasn't here, <laughs> tough luck. Yeah, you're all hard, aren't you, Ogre? The signal is exceptionally strong. If there's gunplay, don't hit the top of the cavern. There's a lake above us. We're very near now. It's up there. And drown, flesh monster! A lawyer? This is not your lawyer. I am a friend who wants to break you out of there in exchange for your help. I've spotted the trapper. It's resting on a narrow ledge. Let's pull it out. Tendril, Tendril, I will need your help. Now, Tendril, now! Come on, let's dump this stuff. The vapors are killing me. Why don't they just pour it down the sink? It's toxic waste, dummy. If anyone just touched it, they'd start looking like something out of a horror film. Oh, that's real nice stuff. Reminds me of your sister's spaghetti sauce. This arrangement seems suspiciously easy. You haven't seen the monster I have to snag in exchange for...
humans. You promised to lead me to them. Soon, Metlar. My sensors indicate they approach. Slowly! Slowly! Until surprise, surprise, he led me to you. Your friend bears a revolting resemblance to a stolen computer. You made the mistake of treating me like a slave, humans. You talk too much. Now, what are you gonna do, Metlar? Ah, have lunch. All right, just get it over with, Metlar. Metlar! Metlar! No! Fulfilled my part of the deal! Blackthorn! You came too soon, Blackthorn. The humans still live. Yeah, long enough to toast you, Cypheroid! Stop, or I'll... You what? You'll release Metlar? I don't think that would be real bright, do you? Let him! Metlar's got a larger score to settle with him than he does with us! Herc! You mind getting off that thing? <laughs> software, and all it took was a little shot of acid. If I release you, will you destroy them? Of course! <laughs> if you believe that, I've got a bridge for sale. Tendril, destroy him! I know what's coming next. Let's get out of here! Did we win or lose? The Cypheroid has been destroyed. But Metlar, Blackthorn, and Tendril were released. Sounds like a net loss to me. Wait a second. We didn't release the monsters. We won. Masterson and the others lost. No matter how you add it up, the best we did was break even. <laughs> Soviet Union faces a grave threat. Soviet agents in the United States have secured reliable information that the inhumanoid Metlar and Tendril have been released by the imperialistic Blackthorn Shore. Need I remind any of you of the inhumanoid's incendiary and unprovoked assault upon us? No, I think not. Thus, you will understand why I have initiated Operation Surma, named for the mythical guardian of the underworld. General Korsakov will fill in the rest of the details. Using geological maps given to us by a certain American senator, we will drill a path to Metlar's command center at Infernak, expose the primal core, and then the engineers will blow up the Brezhnev Dam. Water will pour through the Earth's crust to the burning core. 
The contrast of heat and cold will cause an explosion that will eliminate any chance of an inhumanoid uprising forever. This mission will be jointly led by a KGB officer and Colonel Anatoly Kiev, ranking chess master and hero of the last inhumanoid invasion. Could there be any dangerous scientific ramifications? I thought I had made it clear this mission is military, not scientific. Or are you questioning our planners? No, no, of course not. I'm picking him up on my scanner. He'll be in range in five seconds. Two, one. Hit home, baby! Now, let's nail the other tendril. But the granites have him under guard. They won't let you destroy him. That doesn't worry me. I must speak quickly. The fate of the Earth is at stake. The Soviets are planning to flood Infernak. There, that is his apartment. Break in the door. You are under arrest! It is the informed opinion of my consultants, Mr. President, that flooding in Fernac would result in an explosion that would crack the planet in half. Well, perhaps we ought to telephone the Soviets and tell them this. <laughs> <laughs> if we were to suggest this to the Soviets, they would, of course, deny any knowledge of the SOMA plan. Our military options are limited. As you know, the Earth Corps budget was cut, therefore they're no longer under our jurisdiction. Well, on the other hand, you never lose by asking. Drain the swamp! Dr. Mangler's remains are here somewhere. Ah, there. Alas, poor Mangler, I have returned for you. Not for me, but for those things I will do for you when I live again. Did you hear that? Hear what? I didn't hear nothing. You've been working pretty hard lately, Mr. Shore. Summon decompose. The granite fortress broken. Could be a trap. Yet our sensors detect nothing. Our sensors could be wrong. Do you question the qualities of Soviet equipment? Our equipment was made to detect organic life. Most life down here is inorganic. I don't know. They haven't used violence against us. Uh, we should talk to them. They are invading our territory. If we talk, we will lose the military advantage of surprise. But is that the right thing to do? Uh, uh, I don't know. Let's send a scout. I can live with that. Uh, help me out. Who should we send? I can't ask my men to do something I wouldn't do. Colonel, I detect movement at the far end of the cavern. What a curious creature. This is not a nature hike. It's a military expedition. I have come to talk, humans! It appears he's trying to communicate. Let's talk to him. There is only one form of communication primitives understand. Open fire! But I am the military commander here. If you do not command the troops to open fire now, I will have you arrested for treason! As you order. At my signal, open fire and target the roofs of the chambers! We must discuss this together before... Pick up the down pilots! Yet! They are expendable! Move on! 
Your ignorance has already cost us a helicopter. Please do not bring defeat on us all. Your insolence becomes more and more disturbing. This violence is so senseless, I'm overwhelmed. This goes against every pebble in my body, but I'm vertical retreat. Well, Augur, I think you're the only guy in America who's ever hung up on the president. Well, I just figured it was some crank, you know. I'm getting a sonic reading. A lot of interference. Weapons, sound, radar, shattering. It's got to be a battle. Crack it, Sandra. Bright, plot a course. I think I've got one. Bright, it's good to have you patched together again. It's better to have the trapper and the terror scout patched together again. This place gives me the creeps. Yeah, what's the deal, Shore? Every way you send us reminds me of a graveyard. Let him out of here, Shore. What was that thing? Forget about it. On your feet. We got to get to the Amber Pond. Charge! Keep your money, Shore. Nothing could be worth this. Coward! Keep going, you cowards! We're almost there! You shouldn't have come here. of nature. We got them! Let's see if we can help them. To move would be to ensure your deaths. Next time, remind me not to look for survivors. Lower your weapons and we talk. We can talk perfectly well with our weapons up. Don't worry, Auger. My tank contains liquid hydrogen. If they shoot me, we all die. You might want to tell them that. Oh, that'd take all the fun out of it. Okay, we'll do what you ask. Tell the men to execute them in 10 seconds. We know about your mission. If you flood Infernak, the molten core will blow, and the Earth will go up like a cherry bomb. Three. One. They're going to shoot us. Three, two, one. We are under attack. Statue warriors, Metlar's army. Sure, but whose side are we on? Remember those modifications you were gonna make on the Terror Scout? Yeah? You don't have to do them anymore. The Soviets are getting away! I will have to destroy the Russian 
avenge myself! Ah! You will destroy, destroy nothing, nothing Metmar! We have to talk them into releasing him. Oh, that ought to be real easy. When we detonate the gate, the water will have a clear path to Infernak. If the Americans are right, this will be the end of the world. Give him life! <laughs> Decompass! <laughs> what have I wrought? <gasps> you... You are hideous! Make me more so! <laughs> <laughs> Who goes there? Order the attack! You will never know freedom again! Nor shall you! It is a sacrifice we must make! Right to the fire! What do you want? Remember us? We saved your life in Infernak! What do you want from us? Well, who wants to tell him? I'm no diplomat. It really isn't my province. I don't know them at all. I guess I'm elected. The other humans are going to try to flood Infernak! And they are fools! They will destroy Earth! And only Mittler has a chance of stopping them! Better to destroy everything than to release Mittler like that yellow-bellied wimp Griner you did! That's enough, Pyre! A simple no should be sufficient! I don't think they're going for it. I hate what we have to do. Not nearly as much as they're gonna hate it. Oh, you filthy flesh lord! This is betrayal! Does make strange bedfellows. As disgusting as the thought is, we are allies, Metlar. For now. Charge! Use one of the missiles! Don't you think that would be overkill? There is no such thing as overkill. There is only kill or no kill. You will now destroy the gate to Infernak. The primal core is exposed. Blow the dam! A moment of great triumph. Even now, the water cascades toward victory. Not even Metlar can stop us. Two men's flesh slugs! No, but he will try. Fire the last missile! Certainly. What are you doing? Beginning a new revolution, comrade. According to the Geneva Convention, you, you must accept my surrender! You will suffer for this, Kiev! The water is in the mantle! Lift what rocks you can! Lay down your animosities, Magna Corps! That's easy for you to ask! Flesh slug! The surge tide will flood in Fernak in four minutes! <laughs> that should seal it, as it shall seal you too! No, Metlar! I'll try and freeze it! One minute! 
count. I'm counting. I shall seize the high ground. I think not, Comrade Metlar. Why would you help the Americans, Comrade? Because without them, the Earth would have been destroyed. Uncover them or I will be forced to blow your makeshift door. Nobody will ever know how close we came to the end of the world. Useless flesh slugs! The chance to eliminate that lava-eating vermin has passed us by! Gentlemen, I come to you in triumph! We have destroyed Infernek and destroyed Metla. Soon, all of the Inhumanoids will cower to our will. Mr. President, the threat has been halted. Our sources say the Earth Corps was instrumental. Uh, perhaps we should give them a medal. Sir, if the stories I've heard about them are true, they would probably melt it down for scrap. Well, you tell them if they ever need anything, they know where to come. I don't know how to properly thank you. There is no need. Yeah, there is, and we're gonna do it. We're gonna make him an exploration suit out of the remnants of his tank. What's wrong, Sandra? I just have a bad feeling about Blackthorn. Thus begins the cult of the undead. The battle with the Inhumanoids might be over, but the war within the Earth rages on. Earth Corps, suit up! Know your allies. Geologist Herc Armstrong battles the Inhumanoids with his grappling hook, grabber, and guts. He leads Earth Corps. They wouldn't have it any other way. Eddie the Fist Auger is known as Auger. I hate red tape. Hot-headed and thick-skinned, Auger traded in his golden gloves for a power drill. He's determined to go the distance with the Inhumanoids. Dr. Derek Bright is a geologist and inventor. He's got a big ego. That's okay, because he's a genius. And many times, he's clawed Earth Corps out of trouble. Some say Liquidator marches to a different drummer. The Inhumanoids wish it was true. When the chemist turns his liquid gun on the monsters, heaven help them. Hit him with everything you've got!